did you know Probably not. <laughs> that Frank Lloyd Wright's son created Lincoln Logs? Really? Yes. Like the game? <laughs> the, yeah, with the puzzle, the builder, oh, yeah, the yeah, building yeah. blocks. That's, yeah. That's crazy. He created them. Here's I how. I don't even know he had a son. Yeah, right. Yeah, but nobody <laughs> talks about them. Which is which is the point. Here's here. Check this out. Okay. So he created them based off like a ideology that they both had okay. to build um, a better hotel and better buildings in um, Japan. Actually, they worked together. Right. He worked for his dad, mm -hmm. and John is his name. John Lloyd Wright worked for Frank Lloyd Wright. Uh, and so they were over in Japan building a hotel. I forgot the hotel's name. Okay. But they never saw the building like completed, right? Together because, you know, they stopped working together. John left. They left over money issues. That's okay. why you shouldn't work with family. Uh, <laughs> don't, do don't work. Yeah, right, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Don't work, fa work with family or friends. Damn. But <laughs> that's what they say. You know what I mean? We can do whatever you want to yeah. do. However, uh, the building concept was interlocking um, like material mm -hmm. where the buildings wouldn't they wouldn't fall when they swayed because you know in Japan they had horrible and, and over in Asia they had in that area they have horrible earthquakes it's an island, so yeah. yeah that makes yeah they have horrible earthquakes so they were working on this project they never finished working on it uh, but when he was fired John was like yo why don't I still make that but as a toy and he mm. based the to he based the toy off of the uncle tom's cabin book and his first toy was actually abraham lincoln's log cabin wow yeah and they, that and, is cool yeah and that's how lincoln logs were started wow that's how it started i did not know that the more you know the more the more you know, you know. uh Anyway, uh, if you could, please like, rate, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. Yeah. At 77 Flavor Shy. Yep. And then send this to someone so they can also learn about where we are today, <laughs> which you're about to learn about right now. Yeah. Let's get it. 77 Flavors. Let's go. called the second city i think the most common thing i heard was that it's like second to new york like it's i don't know second that's actually not bad that's okay. like because it's a theory yeah. nobody really knows nobody really? nobody nobody really oh. knows for sure okay. i like so that's one theory there's a bunch of different theories mm -hmm. um another fun fact uh did you know chicago was the second uh most populated city yeah, a, really? right, yeah, right around the 60s is when it kind of tapered off. LA oh, like took three, over 3.6 million. million. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the other maybe theory mm -hmm. is that uh, it was we were, we rebuilt after oh. the yeah after the Chicago fire. So it's like the second iteration of the city. The second iteration of the city. Okay. okay. Which brings us to today's okay. episode. When we rebuilt, where did the bricks come from? Because we can't, we couldn't use wood anymore. Right, we couldn't use wood. Let's go find out. Let's go find out more. So after the Great Chicago Fire in mm -hmm. 1871, mm -hmm. the city went into a complete panic. <laughs> complete as panic. Should. As we should. You know what I mean? Like it, the city burned down. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what do you do? They made a bunch of ordinances mm -hmm. that basically said, hey, fireproof everything. You're right. No more... Wood, wood, all this stuff. I mean, it was it was basically like Lincoln Logs. <laughs> no wood for Chicago. No, <laughs> bing bong. I don't make the rules. There, <laughs> right? You just enforce them. Uh, but the the, <laughs> the 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 city said, hey, no more uh, you know, wood. We're gonna do things with brick and other fire resistant materials. Right. So that's an actual ordinance. Now that has changed over the years. It's a lot right. less obvious and things like that. Yeah. But it's out there. Um, it was out there, and and you know the city abided by that. They had to get the brick from somewhere, though. <laughs> they had to get the brick from somewhere. So that caused a, a gang of brickyards and a bunch of brick makers to right. kind of sprout up around the city, yep. mainly around the north branch of the Chicago River. Mm -hmm. um, that's where you know we found, since we were sitting on a glacial plain, you know, right. with the lake, right. that we it was were. Like, it was that like? Uh... What is it, it? Like clay. Yeah, it was right? like it was perfect. That was perfect. Coin. Boom. Boom. Um, it, it was clay. So 
everybody start going around, the, you know, there, start digging up, and it made like the clay. Not everybody like regular people. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> you know, we don't know. We don't know. No. <laughs> that was the why. Once we were, oh wait. You have to bake the clay. You can so. hurt somebody with clay. You have to bake it. Right? We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, Actually. yeah, yeah. No, you you own you own to something. But what they did was, you know, it was it was clay. It was like limestone. It was the terracotta. All that kind of stuff. They found out that they could make that. Do you know what that brick is called? It's called the Chicago Common Brick. Oh. Yeah, it's called the Chicago Common Brick. And it's because it was homegrown, right? It was homegrown. Right. That's where most of the buildings. Now, I told you on the ride here, I was like, just look at these buildings. Because I know something you don't know. And now I see it with a different eye. Mm -hmm. You all will see it also. If you ever notice the buildings, how the brick might be different, right? Mm -hmm. It might be different in some. Like the face of it is different. Okay. Versus the, the side. sides. Yep. And the, and, the, and the outside looks so yeah. good. And but the sides look older. That side that looks ugly is the Chicago common brick. The other side is the good brick. And the reason why it's like that is because another ordinance was put in mm -hmm. and basically said, if you're going to build a building of brick, it's got to look good. You know, city is all about making right, a, right. making ourselves look, look nice. good. got to look nice. So don't put that ugly so <laughs> on, the, the, on, the, on, the, uh, on the outside. Put it on the put it on it put it where it can't inside. be seen yeah. right so that brick it can't be seen oh. so that's why there's two types of bricks also if you look at like the the second floor and above of some older buildings mm -hmm. not all new ones right um some of the older buildings in chicago you'll notice there is a change in brick also because the whole point was they wanted to look good street level and unseen right <laughs> so wow. so they, it's that pretty dope. So interesting. It's pretty dope. Now I want to go look at buildings. Yeah, now you all are just going to look at buildings. Around people's houses. Yeah, right. Now I got the old brick. <laughs> yeah, now yeah. The ugly brick house. Yeah, that's all. That's all I want to do is now is watch these buildings because it, it's it's pretty dope. That is really cool. It, it's pretty dope. One brickyard in particular was the Carey Brick Company, and they were a family. They uh, were early in the 20th century, they were working, and they closed down in the 60s. They were the last brickyard left in the city. Wow. Right? So they were the last ones left in the city, uh, and that means there were no more bricks. Where did Chicago get the bricks from? Well, what happens is when the bricks, when a building is torn down in Chicago, uh, they get repurposed. Oh. They get repurposed. Yeah, they get repurposed. So they they're built with, you know, mixed in with the you know the newer brick and things yeah, like that. Yeah. So so that's kind of how we get it. Uh, also, did you know that Chicago brick is actually like very sought after around the world? Really? Yeah. So people all around the world wow. want these bricks. So when it's repurposed, they want these bricks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but where else do we get the bricks from? Other people that make them. Oh. All, <laughs> I was like, I don't know. That's why. Other That's clay? It. Other clay. Clay places? Yeah, other clay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, other places. One is St. Louis. Boo, St. Louis. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> we got fans. <laughs> and it's logistics fans. Yeah, it's logistics fans, fans. yeah. Um, my arch nemesis. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. So what happened to this space after all that? Right? What happened it's to the space after American they closed down? Okay. A mall. Yeah. Well, <laughs> was it a mall? I don't know. Was it? It is now. Let's go find out. <laughs> what did it become afterwards? A mall. Yes, it became a mall. Fun fact about this mall, uh, it's, it's got a bunch of shopping centers in here, um, and it had the first Big K, the Big K, oh. remember when they, remember when Big K, yeah. Kmart became well, Big K? No. Well, you don't remember, but that's a that's fun fact here uh, for this place. But before it was a mall, this mall, the Brickyards, it was actually a ski resort. It was? We're standing on a ski resort, y'all. Chicago's first and only ski resort. That no longer exists. Yeah. Thunder Mountain. Was, really? Thunder Mountain is what, uh, is what the Carey family made this land on. Wow. Yeah, they made this a mountain. And the reason why they did that, um, a ski resort, is because, it, it, again, on Glacial Plain, plain on Glacial Plain, <laughs> it was 200 and I think 68 feet high was the peak of the ski slope, which was the highest in a 200 mile radius. Wow, I mean, you're in the Midwest. Yeah, That's yeah, you're in the Midwest. It lasted one season, uh, the season of 67, 68. 
only one season. You know why? Because I mean, it's Chicago. Like, yeah. Well, you're in the Midwest. There's no not enough snow. It's that's just, right. It wasn't <laughs> enough snow, which is crazy because Chicago's worst winter was that January before. Wow. 23 inches of snow in '67. The blizzard of '67. It probably, it probably costs so much to keep like like snow going. Yeah. Yeah, which actually, so you know why they closed down? They closed down in the first place because the kilns, K-I-L-N-S, were not up to, was not up to um, environmental standards. Oh, okay. So they had to shut down because of that. That's why they shut down the, uh, the uh, brick oh. company in the first place. Oh, so like the things where they bake. Yeah, the, like the uh, ceramic oh, things. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, crazy. crazy. So Chicago's first and only ski resort was right here. You can come buy and, shoes now. You know, man. <laughs> go to Jewel. Go to Jewel. You go to Target. Is it, is it Mariano? Mar somewhere. I don't know. Jewel. Not yet. They ain't bought it. Anyway, we going to eat right now. We going to eat because I'm starving. She's starving. Yes. Let's get out of here. We are at our at the food restaurant. The food restaurant. The food restaurant. The, the restaurant. The cafe uh, that we're having lunch at today, and they make pastes or empanadas, right? Mm -hmm. And empanadas. Um, and if you don't know what it is, this is what it looks like. Yeah. These are these are some huge. They're, they're large. Look at this. Look at this. Delicious. So flaky. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to start with a sweet one. I want to no, start no. with it. But um, before we start. Talk a little bit about where we are and um, Look, the story of the place, right? So I'm I'm going to butcher this because the owner is right here next to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am nervous. Uh, <laughs> you uh, are nervous. Uh, yeah, uh, we are at Golden Tuzo, uh, and is, it, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, this is good. This is perfect. Go. See, go. I'm good. Um, and actually, the owner David here uh, brought this concept of like a living room type vibe like a uh, homey like a homey vibe vibe for and it's it's uh, very artsy so it's meant to be for like artists and stuff uh, to come and hang out I'm so glad she took over while I was missing <laughs> talking about it I'm go so ahead sorry, no go no ahead. <laughs> I'm just excited no 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 yeah uh, it's a really cute space and it, it literally feels like a living room yeah it, i mean like if you could see this you well, yeah, will yeah. see it because i show you right now but we are in like a living room and you know david here said this is like his home away from home so mm -hmm. <laughs> this is yeah home. this is second, second home. home this is second home yeah. uh and there's couches uh here we fit probably i want to say you know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve people yeah, yeah. Twelve. Twelve, twelve people about twelve people twelve. yeah and that's enough. That's yeah. enough to feel yeah. cozy There's in There's like a piano in the corner. It's really cute. Um, and then the history of the food itself, if you've never, if you didn't know the history about pastas or empanadas, it, it's actually like food for mine. It came from England. It's food for miners. And it's, you're meant to like hold the corner or the edge of while very, you're eating it. Very so childishly that, like this. <laughs> and then you toss, <laughs> you eat through it and then you toss the corners so that if your hands are dirty, yeah. um, you don't get your food dirty. That is amazing yeah. concept because, some, you know me, I don't eat, eat the crust of pizza sometimes. Literally. But, All the uh, time. <laughs> I mean, unless it's good butter. Yeah. Exceptional crust. We also got... Um, what is it? Wow. Uh, it's a... Pum, pambaso. pambaso. There you go. Yeah. Pambaso. pambaso. Uh, it's basically a torta, right? Yeah. He said that's disrespectful. Why <laughs> you say that? <laughs> He's offended. I'm so sorry, David. Uh, uh, <laughs> what I will say is, I start. I want to start with this. This is first of all, the the cup is amazing. <laughs> like this. It? Look so, at this. Artwork. You know, a lot of a lot of like the the street food festivals in Mexico, they use not this de well decorated, but they use the same like almost clay. Uh, like jugs, and then yeah. you can take it home with you. This is, a, but they're not nice. As yeah, yeah, this nice. yeah. This is this is nice. I want to take this home. Uh, but what's inside of here is actually like a walnut flavor, hot cocoa-ish type of thing. Am I right? Am I getting it right? Yeah. I'm getting it right. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting it right. But I try it. Yeah. yeah. Let's try it. It is. It's really good. This is great. Because it's like not. It's not as heavy as like a hot chocolate. It's like right. Yeah, it's really good. I feel like it's holding the heat very well too, mm -hmm. like because of the cup, obviously. Yeah, the, the, the the clay, the clay is holding it in, and it's still warm. So like on a cool, chilly day, even though today Perfect. is like 
great yeah. <laughs> weather for Chicago. Yeah. Forty degree. This is still like the perfect, perfect compliment. Like uh, you usually, I usually get atole when like you go uh, the the grandmas sell the tamales in the back of their their car yeah. and then they open it and there's an atole yeah. jug. So yeah. so so this is what we need. We need to sell this. You, he does you sell this. Oh no, I mean like let I me mean, in the streets. Like, <laughs> oh, like, they, like a lot of people do. It's, yeah, that's, it's a very it's like common compliment, yeah, compliment, uh, yeah. tamales. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I, to go I've had so many tamales, I've never had that. Like yeah, like nobody's ever offered together. it to me. Let's start eating. You want yeah. to start with the sandwich? Let's start with the sandwich, because this thing looks so good. It does look really good. Here we go. I don't know what the sandwich is. Mmm. Potato. Yep, potato. Chorizo? Mexican sauce. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let's get some salsa. Yeah. You know what's a good sign of food, good food? Hmm. When you don't need the salsa. I know. It doesn't I'm putting it on there because I want it, but. I know. It's for extra flavor, you know? This is so good. It's a little spicy. It's spicy? I'm yes. not scared. I'm not scared. Mm. <laughs> I'm not scared, y'all. <laughs> That's good. Mm. This is good complement. Mm -hmm. mm. Salsa. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So this is different than Pambaso traditional. So the, um, this is green salsa, no red salsa. Mm. No cover on the bread. This is mm. inside only. Oh. Makes sense. This is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we shouldn't have shared this. The bread this. is great. Yeah, we shouldn't have shared this. Mm -mm. I want this by myself. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Can you dip this in there, or is it just sure. too much? It's just, it... Sure, you could do whatever you want. Yeah, I'm doing it. Um, mm. I like the bread because it's like not... You know how sometimes there's too much bread mm. to the stuff that's mm -hmm. inside the bread? This is like perfect. Yeah. There's a there's a nice like layer. A nice amount of bread to Yeah. There's a nice layer of everything. Mm -hmm. Like you don't get too much of one thing. Like sometimes I've had it where people put the potato in there and it's just too much potato. Yeah, that's perfect. But this is like perfect. Dipping it in there, you should dip it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> David, what's your favorite thing? For me, the, mm -hmm. um, the empanadas for everything. <laughs> <laughs> so this is seven, seven years, uh, 40 years or mm -hmm. more years mm -hmm. eating my empanadas or my pastas. So these are different dates mm -hmm. and different months, mm -hmm. the flavor different. Mm. So maybe Junio, this is chicken tinga. Yeah. It's too much. I can just change for red mole. I can just change mm -hmm. for potato and chorizo. So this everything eat. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to, yeah, it, it changes by the season, so. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. different, season, mm -hmm. different days, so, mm -hmm. I don't know, I this is that. different, bro. You are like my empanadas. Oh, I, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing about this, the cool thing about this, you all, is right here in the corner, that's how they distinguish and how they can tell which empanada you're eating. Yeah. Wait, I'm going to eat it like how you're supposed to eat it, <laughs> like this. Is that how you're supposed this, to eat it? This way? Uh, yeah, this on the corner. Yeah, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that filling. Oh. Wait. Ooh, the that chicken tinga? Really good. Yeah, the chicken tinga. Oh. Nice. Let's hear it. Okay, yeah. Bite this before I eat it all. Mm -hmm. Oh, that flavor. The flakiness. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Mm -hmm. like, it's just like falling apart. It's mm. so good. This is good. Yeah, this is really good. Delicious. Well, I was about to say, like, the. As soon as you bite into it, the flavor just mm -hmm. like, everyone is like mm -hmm. actually very different. Very. You know how sometimes like you can, it's the same mm -hmm. kind of style mm -hmm. and like every bite varies a little bit. These are like very different yeah. each time. You can tell how flaky it is because all the flakes are in your beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, oh God. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Yeah. All right, yes. let's try the sweet ones. Yeah, let's try the sweet ones. So we got a, Cajeta. Cajeta, caramel. Yeah, caramel. caramel. Oh. And then one, the other one is uh, guava. guava and cheese. Let me eat that one first. I wanna, I wanna, yeah, I want the first bite of that one. The caramel? Yes. Here we go, y'all. What do you think? <laughs> Come on now. You know what I think. <laughs> I'm smiling, y'all. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That is, and this, is the gua this is the guava and cheese. Yeah, this is guava yeah. and cheese. That's the guava and cheese. Oh, this that's is good. different the pastelillos. Okay. It is this and the, the guava inside mm. and the cheese. Oh. Mmm. It tastes like a cheesecake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's <laughs> I love guava. That's mm -hmm. amazing. 
So like we mentioned, it's like an artist space too. Mm -hmm. And one of the things um, that someone that works here made are, well, this is one of them. She makes these keychains <laughs> that look like empanadas and then- Dang. Here you go. Here, I got you. Hold mm -hmm. on, you're, it's all falling down. Mm. It's this, this empanada was with the key. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, this is edition for the Valentine's Day. I love that. Oh, this is Bell? Yeah, this is edition for the February. So I make it more edition so I can join empanadas green for the mm -hmm. San Patrick's Day. Oh, oh. wow. Small, so I oh, can just change it. That's smart. <laughs> yeah. That's that smart. That is so cute. Mm, y'all. This food is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Food is fantastic. The vibe is cool. It's just us. It's just us and the chef. And Jane, who made these? The empanada. Right, right. She makes the art. Jane made the empanada thing. And we love it. Mm. That we're was gonna, good. I, I would say we're going to go eat more, but we literally ate everything. Right. She said she got five. She got two more back there. Mm. So we're going to wrap <laughs> this up and then uh, while we eat some more food. Chef, thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Y'all got to come out here, support David, support what he got going on. Golden Tuzo. Support it's Jane. So good. Support Jane also. And you can order for delivery if you are close to the area, yeah. right? There's, yeah. I saw a delivery option yeah, on the website. Yeah, the party events. Okay. Yep, there's catering. They do catering. They sell the boxes by the dozen. Um, so there you go. There you go. Y'all come down here. Golden Tuzo. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you. you cheers the camera. Cheers. Bye. Mm -hmm.